Hello, sports fans and hockey fans. I'm here with another hockey game, and uh, today it's going to be a modern-day game. It's not going to be one from back in the 50s or in the 70s. This is going to be from last year. We are doing the 2023-or wait a minute, no, 2022-2023 New Jersey Devils versus the 2022-2023 Boston Bruins. Now, uh, the Bruins will be the visitors. will be in New Jersey for the purposes of the split card decks. And, in case you were living under a rock or something, Boston had a historic year last year. Actually, the scoring in the NHL was the highest in maybe a decade last year. And the Boston Bruins were an incredible 65, 12, and 5. And the New Jersey Devils were 52, 22, and 8. And so, with all of that having been said, and you know how my setup goes, I have the lines in the sleeves, and I just flip the sleeves when it comes to the appropriate line change. So we are going to uh, get on with the game. I use the basic game except for face-offs. I do face-offs with the advanced face-off chart. So that's a five, and that says um, home left defenseman. Okay, I have to see what the... All right, the uh, Patrice Bergeron is the center. And, and actually, I'll go over the first lines, and as we flip them, we'll go through. The first, the offensive line for um, the Bruins to start will be Marchand at left wing, Patrice Bergeron in center, and David Pasternak will be the right wing. For the New Jersey Devils, the starting front line is Timo Meyer at left wing, Jack Hughes at center, and Dawson Mercer at right wing. The starting defensive uh, lineup for um, the Bruins will be Dmitry Orlov at left defenseman and Charlie McAvoy at right defenseman. And for New Jersey, it will be Brendan Smith and Dougie Hamilton manning the blue line. So that is a five, and uh, Patrice Bergeron... And a face-off is a plus three. And Hughes is a plus one, so that's a plus two. So a five on a plus two is the superior left defenseman. So I suppose what that means is that um, Dmitry Orlov starts with it. And we will pick the first card and see what happens there. He is the visiting team. Boston's the visitor. And that says outside shot for any player. They're going to give that to Patrice Bergeron. And he is a penetration four, so he'll try to penetrate inside. And I think he does get inside with a 10. Uh, let's see. He does. So now Bergeron has an inside shot. And that's going to be a six when an inside shot is a save and the left wing comes up with the puck. So that's going to be Timo Meyer. Timo Meyer now has it. He's on the home team. That says lose puck outside shot for opponent. Well, the opponent right across from him would be Pasternak. And he is a penetration for. He is, go you know what? He's going to pass it. We're going to say he passes it. And on the passing, the passing reading, and by the way, the goalies are Vivek Vanacek for New Jersey and Linus Olmark for Boston. But anyway, on the passing, um, it says against even lose puck to opponent. All right, well, so uh, Pasternak is going to lose the puck to Timo Meyer. Timo Meyer has it back, and it says lose puck outside shot for left wing. So Marshand will have an outside shot. 
He is also a penetration four, so he'll try to penetrate. He does barely get inside. And, uh, oh wait, and then, and then we'll roll it, roll the dice. And that's a four, and that's a save right wing. So the right wing, Dawson Mercer comes up with it for New Jersey. And again, he's home. Now across from him, the left wing, anything but a C or a D, um, there's a penalty. And um, that's Martian. I got to believe his penalty. No, his penalty is a D? No, wait a minute. That's a B. Yeah, that's a B. So there's going to be a two-minute penalty for the Boston Bruins. So we will pick two cards to um, uh, get the time off the clock. And then we will roll the 20-sided dice. And that is a six. And a six on the penalty says... If the right defenseman, let's see. If the right defenseman is a four, um, defensively, and let's see. He is, yes, he is. Then uh, there's a breakaway for the right wing. So we will uh, roll the dice and Mercer with that. With, he has the breakaway. That is a 10. And 10 on breakaway is lose to the left defenseman. And then um, inside shot for the center. So that goes to Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes will have an inside shot. That's a 12 on the inside shot. And that's going to be a lose to the right defenseman. So the right defenseman comes up with the puck for Boston and there is a forward line change. So now the forward lines for both teams. For the visiting Boston Bruins, it is now Taylor Hall at left wing, Charlie Coyle at center, and Garnett Hathaway at right wing. For New Jersey, it is Andre Palat at left wing, Nico Hersher at center, and Jesper Bratt is the right wing. So we will... Pick the okay. Charlie McAvoy has it. We'll pick it. He's the visitor. Passing K. His passing K says inside shot for center. So Charlie Coyle has an inside shot. And he gets a six. And six on inside shot is a goalie rating. So we're going to look at Vanacek. Roll the dice. It's a five. It's a goal. So Boston has a one nothing lead here about a third of the way through the first period, and we will do another face-off. And that face-off is a six, and let's see what we've got. Coyle is a, what is he at facing off? He is a plus two, and Hershier is a plus two, so that's even, that's a roll of six. So that's going to be home right defenseman. So that is going to be uh, Dougie Hamilton. So Dougie Hamilton has the puck. He's on the home team. And it says possible breakaway. So we'll pick the card. We'll read the breakaway section. Breakaway says left defenseman if breakaway penetration rating is three or more. And it is not. So, if not, lose puck to opponent. So, that means Dmitry Orlov has it. And uh, he is the visitor, and it says passing K on his. And that's an inside shot for the center. So, Coyle has another inside shot. That is a 12 on the inside shot, and that is a save, and right defenseman comes up with it. That's Doug Hamilton. We'll pick the card, and for home, it says lose puck outside shot for right wing. So there's an outside shot for Hathaway. He's going to pass pass it. Passing against even inside shot for right wing or center. So it would be the center because he is the right wing. 
So Coyle with another inside shot, 10. He's getting those left and right, and it's a save, and the right wing comes up with it for New Jersey. And there's a defensive line change. So the second defensive lines are out there. For Boston, that means Matt Grez Grizalek and Brandon Carlo will be the defensive pair at the blue line. And for um, New Jersey, it's going to be Jonas Sagenthaler and... Damon Severin, Se Severson. Jesper Bratt, though, has the puck for the moment. And we pick the card, look at home, and it says opponent defense 13. So the left wing's opponent defense 13 is an outside shot. Outside shot for Bratt. He can try to penetrate inside. He will. He doesn't. So he loses the puck to Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall was able to get the puck. And then for a visitor, it says outside shot for center. That's Charlie Coyle. Coyle, of course, can, let's see, what is his penetration? His penetration's a three. You know what? We're going to pass. We're going to have him pass the puck. Uh, passing against even inside shot for a center or left wing. So he gives it right back to Taylor Hall who has an inside shot, and on a nine, he gets a save, and the defensive center comes up with it. That's Hershier. Hershier has it. He's home, and it says outside shot for center, uh, for right wing or center, and it would be the right wing because he is the center. That's Brat. Brat can try to get inside. He does get inside, so now Jesper Brat has an inside shot. That's a six. It's a goalie rating. We will look at all, Mark, and roll the dice. It's an eight, and eight says save any forward. So all Mark makes the save, and they're going to give it to Coyle. And Coyle is the visitor. Says opponent defense 12. That would be Hershier's defense 12. He takes the puck away. So Hershier gets control of the puck. He is the home team. And that says opponent defense 12. So Coyle's defense 12 is takes the puck away. So he takes the puck back away, except that the lines change. So we have to get new lines out there for each of these teams. For the, um, for the Boston Bruins, let's see. All right. Oh, boy. I lost my cards here. Let me put these guys back in. Um... So for the um, Boston Bruins, well, let me hear. All right, so I'm I'm set now. The Boston Bruins front line is going to be Nick Foligno at left wing, David Krejci at center, and Trent Frederick at right wing. For New Jersey, it's going to be Miles Wood at left wing, um, uh, Yegor Sharangovich at center, and Thomas Tatar at right wing. And um, David Krejci is now the guy who has the puck. And he is the visitor, and that says the guy across from him, which is... Um, Sharonavagic, I don't know how to pronounce that. I know there's a couple of people who are going to have fun with that. But anyway, um, his, uh, his penalty is a D, so he's going to take the puck back away. So New Jersey has control of the puck again. That says opponent defense 14. That says outside shot. So Sarogovic has an outside shot. He's going to pass the puck because he's a penetration three. Uh, passing says passing J, and passing J is inside shot for the center. So I guess, I, I don't, I suppose I would have to pick one. Let's see. I guess I'll just pick uh, Thomas Tatar, because if he passed it, there's no way he could have the shot. So that is a nine on an inside shot, and it's a save 
defensive left defenseman. So Matt Grezel, Grezel, Grelata, Grezel check. I don't know. Um, he has the puck, so we will pick the card. And uh, he is the visitor, and across from him, defense or his uh, his um, penalty rating is a D. So Damon Severson takes the puck away for New Jersey, and there is a defensive line change. And so we will bring out the third lines um, of defense for uh, both teams. For Boston, that means Hampus Lindholm at left defenseman and Connor Clifton at right defenseman. And for New Jersey, it is uh, Ryan Graves at left defenseman and John Marino at right defenseman. I like it when I can pronounce the names, for sure. Um, Marino with the puck, and that says... Lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. So that is Connor Clifton. He's only a two. Oh boy, I'm losing these things left and right. All right. He's only a two. So what we're going to do there is we are going to have him pass. And passing says lose puck to opponent. So he's going to lose the puck to Ryan Graves. And now Graves has it. And we do the home, and he's got a passing J. Passing J is inside shot for center. So Sharagovich has the puck for an inside shot. He gets a 7. 7 is a goalie rating, so we're going to look at Mr. Allmark and roll the dice. Roll the bones. It's a 7 again. Save either defenseman. So they'll give it to Clifton. Clifton has the puck, and he is the... Visiting team opponent defense 14. That's Ryan Graves is 14, and he takes the puck away. So Ryan Graves takes the puck away from Clifton, checks him up against the board. And that says outside shot for any player. Um, they're going to give it to Miles Wood, and then he's going to try to penetrate inside. He is a four. He does make it inside. So Miles Wood with an inside shot on an eight, that is going to be a rebound. So we'll... Pick the card and refer to the rebound section. Rebound says, defense, any player with a defensive rating of three or more. Well, there should be quite a few of those. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, Frederick has a defense rating of three, so I'll just give it to Frederick. And uh, he is the visitor, and it says possible breakaway. So we'll pick the card. We'll see what the breakaway section lists for that. Breakaway right wing uh, center, because he is the right wing. Center if breakaway penetration is a four. So let's see if it is. I would imagine. No, it isn't. So um, if not, lose puck to opponent. So that's going to be Miles Wood. Coming up with the puck. And he is home and it says inside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Tatar. So Tatar has an inside shot. He gets a four and a four is going to be a uh, save and any defensive player comes up with it. That'll be Kretschy. And the forward lines change. So we have to go get a new forward line for Boston. And that will revert back to their first line and it will do that for New Jersey as well and so that means Marshan, Bergeron and Pasternak are out there and for the um, well you know what they haven't had their uh, the Boston first line will go out there is what I said but this line for New Jersey hasn't been out there yet and that's Eric Hawala at left wing, Michael McLeod at center, and Jesper Boquist at right wing. And we will pick the uh, card. Patrice Bergeron has control of the puck. And it says opponent defense 13, 
McLeod's defense 13 is outside shot. That's Bergeron. He'll try to get inside. He does, and he'll take the inside shot. That is an eight. Eight on the inside shot is rebound. We'll pick the card for the rebound. And the rebound is defensive right defenseman if his rating is um, three or more. Right defenseman's rating is definitely, so that's Marino. Marino has control of the puck. Um, and he's home and it says passing L. Passing L is lose puck to the center. Patrice Bergeron has the puck. And he's the visitor, and it says inside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Pasternak. We roll the bones, and he gets a nine, and a nine is a goalie rating. And we're going to refer to Vanacek's card, and it's a six, and that's going to be a faceoff. So he covers the puck up, and we have a faceoff coming up. That is an eight. Now, um, face off, McLeod is a plus three, and he is a plus three Bergeron, so that's an even. Even on an eight on the face off chart is home right wing. So, Boquist has the puck, and that says passing K, and passing K is lose puck to the right wing. So Pasternak has the puck. Uh, that says lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. The left defenseman is Graves. He's a penetration three. He's just going to take the outside shot. That is an eight. Eight is a rebound. Um, so we will pick the card for the rebound. And rebound says offensive right defenseman. If his uh, offense rating is three or more. And his offense rating is only a two. So if not, opponent has control. That means the right defenseman, Connor Clifton, has the puck. This is the last card of the period. He is the visitor. And it says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. That is Marino. He's a penetration two. He's going to try to pass it. Let's see if he can pass it to somebody who has a, a better chance than him of scoring. Lose puck defensive left wing has control, and so that is it. That's the end of the first period with the Boston Bruins leading the New Jersey Devils by the score of 1-0. Hello, well, welcome back to the second period of our game between the Boston Bruins and the New Jersey Devils. Currently, starting the second period, the uh, Boston Bruins have a one nothing lead on New Jersey. Uh, the lines for the uh, um, Bruins will, uh, the starting line, the starting offensive line will be their fourth line, which um, I'm not sure if it played. Yeah, it did. It played in the first uh, period. They're going to have Nick Foligno, David Crutchy, and Trent Frederick starting out. And their starting defensive line is going to be Matt Grezelek and uh, Brandon Carlo. So that's going to be for Boston. For New Jersey, they're going to have their first line out there. That's Timo Meyer at left wing, Jack Hughes at center, and Dawson Mercer at right wing. And the left defenseman will be Brendan Smith. And the uh, right defenseman will be Dougie Hamilton. And so that's how we're going to line up, and we will take the faceoff. The faceoff is a 10, and Crecci is a... Uh, Faceoff plus one. Jack Hughes is a plus one, so it's even. So we go to the faceoff chart, 10, even, and that's home right wing. So that means Dawson Mercer is going to start with the puck. And uh, home says outside shot for the center or left wing, and the cent it's really the center. 
Jack Hughes is a four. He's going to try to penetrate. He does get inside, Jack Hughes does, and he gets a five, and a five is going to be a save, and the defensive center comes away with the puck, and that's Krejci. So Krejci with the puck, and he's the visitor, and it says outside shot for the right winger center. So it would be um, the right wing, and that's Frederick, and Frederick is a four. It looks like he's a four getting uh trying to penetrate he is so frederick will try to penetrate that's a two he gets inside and he gets a 10 which is going to be a save left wing so timo meyer comes away with the puck we pick the card we look at the home side and that's his outside shot for uh the right wing so that's dawson mercer Dawson Mercer is a four trying to get inside. He'll try to penetrate. He does. Inside shot of a seven. That's going to be a lose to the left wing. So Felino comes away with it for Boston. And um, that says opponent defense 12. So Dawson Mercer's defense 12 is takes the puck away. So Dawson Mercer checks Felino into the board and takes the puck. And Holmes says, opponent defense 12. So Felino is trying to chase him down, and it says takes the puck away. So Felino returns the uh, the uh, check and uh, takes the puck back from him. And then that says opponent def or opponent uh, penalty rating. Anything but a C or a D is a penalty. And his penalty rating is a D, so he takes the puck away. So Dawson Mercer and uh, Felino are just exchanging the puck here, basically. And uh, that says, lose puck outside shot for right wing. So that's Trent Frederick. Trent Frederick with an outside shot. He is a four, trying to get inside. He'll try. He doesn't. He's, so he loses the puck to Meyer, and now the front lines change. So... The uh, Devils will send out their second line, and the uh, Boston Bruins are going to um, send out their first line. So for the Boston Bruins, they have they now have Marchand. Bergeron and Pasternak out there, and the Devils have Andre Palat, Nico Hersher, and Jesper Brad out there, and Palat has the puck. He will, um, he gets uh, a passing K. Passing K is inside shot for right wing. That's Jesper Brat. Jesper Brat with an inside shot. He gets an 11, and that's going to be a, a save, and the left defenseman comes away with it. That's Grezelchik, or whatever, however you pronounce his name. And that says, inside shot for any player. Well, they're going to give it to Bergeron. And that is a 5. 5 on an inside shot is a goalie rating. So we're looking at Vanacek. Vanacek has an 8. And that is a save either defenseman. So they are going to give it to Dougie Hamilton. Hamilton with control of the puck. And that says passing L. And he has um, inside shot for the right wing. So that's Jesper Bratt. Great play. And that's going to be a goalie rating. So we're going to look at Allmark. Allmark, it's a roll of a six, and that's a goal. And New Jersey has tied this game. So New Jersey ties the game again about a third of the way through the period, like Boston did in the first period. So we're going to have another face-off. Um, that's a 14, and it face-off. Bergeron is a plus two, 
And Hershier is a plus two, so they're even. 14 even is visitor right defenseman. So um, that is Brandon Carlo. Brandon Carlo with control of the puck. And that says opponent defense 13. So Brendan Smith's defense 13 is an outside shot. So Carlo has an outside shot. He is going to pass the puck, though. And passing is passing J, which is an inside shot for the left wing. That's Marshan. Marshan taking an inside shot. That's a 10. 10 is a goalie rating. We're going to look at Vanacek again. Vanacek on 7 is a goal! And Boston is back ahead. Just like that, Boston takes a 2-1 lead. <coughs> And we'll have a face-off, and the defensive lines are going to change. So for um, the New Jersey Devils, that means that the new blue liners are going to be Damon Severson and Jonas Siegenthaler. And for Boston, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be... Dmitry Orlov and Charlie McAvoy. And so uh, we will do a face-off. Face-off of 17 with, again, a... Well, wait a minute. What is Bergeron? Is a, he's a plus three. Hershier is a plus two, so it's a plus one. Um, um, and so we will... Roll, oh, we already did. So 17 and a plus one on the face-off chart is inferior left defenseman. So um, that's going to be uh, that's going to be Siegenthaler. So he has control of the puck. He's on the home team, and it says inside shot for any player. They're going to give that to Palat. Palat taking the inside shot. That's a nine. Nine is going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes away with it. That's Orlov. So Dmitry Orlov has the puck for Boston. And um, that says um, passing L. Passing L is... For him is inside shot for right wing on a great play, and that's Pasternak. Pasternak with the inside shot. That's going to be a six. That's going to be a goalie rating. We're looking at Vanacek again. That's an 11. That's going to be a face-off. So we will have another face-off. We roll the dice. 15. Bergeron is a plus one. So we look at 15 plus 1 inferior left wing. So that's going to be um, Palat. Palat has control of the puck for New Jersey. And that says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. So that's Charlie McAvoy. McAvoy with the outside shot. He's going to pass the puck. And uh, passing J, passing J is an inside shot for the left wing, and that's Marshan. So Marshan with an inside shot. On a six, that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes away with the puck. That's Palat. And um, home has it, passing J, Palat, and that's an inside shot for the center. So he feeds her sheer. And Hershier gets a nine, and that's a save defensive center. So that goes to Bergeron. Bergeron, the visitor, opponent defense 12. Hershier's defense 12, he takes the puck away. So Hershier wrestles the puck away from Bergeron. And then um, that says opponent defense 13. His defense 13 on Bergeron says he takes the puck back away. And we have another forward line change. So that's going to be line two for Boston, which is Taylor Hall, Charlie Coyle, and 
Garnett Hathaway with Charlie Coyle having control of the puck. And it's going to be line three for New Jersey, which is uh, going to be Miles Wood, Jaeger, Sharon Govich, and Thomas Tatar. And uh, Coyle with the puck, and it says passing K. His passing K says inside shot for left wing. So he feeds Taylor Hall, who now has an inside shot. That's a 10. 10 is going to be a save, and the left wing comes away with it. That's Miles Wood. Miles Wood now has the puck. And uh, that says possible breakaway. So we'll pick the card here and see what a break the breakaway section says. Um, left defenseman if breakaway penetration is a two or more. And it is. So that's going to be Jonas Siegenthaler with a breakaway shot. That is a nine. And nine is going to be a lose to the left wing. So Taylor Hall has now has the puck. And uh, for him, it says lose puck outside shot for opponent. So that's going to be Thomas Tatar. Thomas Tatar is a three. We're going to try to penetrate with Tatar. And he does make it inside. So he's got an inside shot. That's a nine. And nine is going to be a save. And the left defenseman comes away. That's Orlov of Boston. Orlov has it, and that says opponent defense 14. That's Severson, and that says outside shot. So Orlov with an outside shot, and what is his penetration? Let's see. It's a three. They're going to try it. They're going to try to work Orlov inside. And he does get inside, so Orlov has an inside shot. That's a five, and that's going to be a goalie rating. So we've got to look at Vanacek again, and he gets a six, and that's a face-off. So he forces a face-off, and there is going to be a uh, defensive line change. So for the New Jersey Devils, that means that... Um, Ryan Graves and John Marino will be the blue liners now. And for the uh, for the Boston Bruins, it'll be no, they were already out there. So we're gonna we're gonna get the uh, third liners out there. It's gonna be Hampus Lindholm and Connor Clifton will be. The defensive pairing for them. And uh, yeah, and we have a face-off. And that's a six. And Coyle is a plus two. And um, New Jersey's guy is a zero. So it's a plus two on a six. Six plus two is a uh, superior right defenseman. So... That's going to be Connor Clifton. Connor Clifton has the puck. And um, it says for him, outside shot for the left wing. That is Taylor Hall, but he's a four. He'll try to penetrate inside. And that is a 15, so he doesn't get inside He and loses the puck to Tatar. Tatar now has the puck. And uh, for him, it says, across from him, anything but a penalty rating, C or D, is going to be a penalty. Um, and he, But he's a D, so Taylor Hall takes the puck back away. And now he has possession of it. And it says passing K for him. Passing K is inside shot for right wing. So Garnett Hathaway has an inside shot for Boston. That's going to be a six, and a six is a lose to the defensive center. So Sarah Govich swoops in and takes the puck. Home says lose, puck outside shot for opponent, and that is Charlie Coyle, and Coyle is just going to take the outside shot. That's an 11, 
and that's going to be a save in any defensive player. They're going to give it to Tatar. And there's a forward line change, so it won't end up being Tatar. It's actually going to end up being Jesper Bo Boquist, who will have it. And for the um, Bruins, they'll have their third line out there. And that's going to be... That's going to be Tyler Bertuzzi, Pavel Zaka, and A.J. Greer will be the Boston front line. And for uh, New Jersey, it's Eric Huala, Michael McLeod, and Jesper Boquist. And Boquist has the puck as the uh, period is starting to wind down here. That's a passing L. Passing L is lose puck to the center. So Pavel Zaka has it for Boston. And it's a possible breakaway for Boston. So we will pick the card and see what the breakaway section says. Right wing, if breakaway penetration is three or more. And it is not. So since it isn't, let's see what happens. If not, lose puck to opponent. So... Um, that means that Eric Huala has, Hula, Hula, Hula Hoop has, <laughs> and, uh, he, that says outside shot for any player. We will give it to, we're going to give it to McLeod. And, um, McLeod's just going to take the outside shot. And that's a 12 and it's going to be a goal one to 12. And it is! It's a goal, and New Jersey ties the game back up on an improbable outside shot by McLeod, tying the game at two, and we will have another face-off. That's a roll of 18, and um, Zaka's a plus one. McLeod's a plus three, so it's going to be a plus two on an 18. And that's going to be inferior right defenseman. So the inferior right defenseman is going to end up being Connor Clifton of Boston, who has the puck. And the um, visitor says opponent defense 14, that's Graves. And that says takes the puck away. So Ryan Graves of New Jersey takes the puck away. And this is the last card. Um, across from him, anything but a D penalty. So the right defenseman is a penalty D. So Connor Clifton takes the puck back from Graves, and that's it. That's how we end the second period. At the end of the second period, we have a tie game between New Jersey and Boston at two apiece. All right, well, we are back for the third period, and um, we are in a tie game between the uh, last year's Boston Bruins and last year's New Jersey Devils, and uh, we are going to get on with the game. The first offensive lines and the first defensive lines are out there for both teams, so for Boston, that's Taylor Hall, Charlie Coyle, and Garnett Hathaway. Um, oh, wait a minute. No, that's the second line. Let me get it. Let me. So actually for Boston, that means it's uh, Marchand, Patrice Bergeron, and Pasternak. For New Jersey, their starting offensive line is Timo Meyer, Jack Hughes, and Dawson Mercer. Defensively for Boston, you've got Dmitry Orlov and Charlie McAvoy out there. And for New Jersey, you've got Brendan Smith and Dougie Hamilton. So we're ready to go. Jack Hughes is a faceoff, is a plus one. Patrice Bergeron's a plus three, so that's a plus two overall. And uh, that is a 10 on the faceoff chart. So, superior right wing. So, that means that the puck will start in the possession of Pasternak for Boston. 
He is the visitor, and it says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. So that means Doug Hamilton has it. Now, he is a four penetration. He'll try to move inside. He does get inside. And he gets a nine roll, which is a save and a left wing. The left wing comes up with it. That is Marchand. Marchand in possession of the puck. And that's his opponent defense 12. So that's Dawson Mercer's defense 12. And he takes the puck away. So Dawson Mercer puts a heavy check on Marchand, takes the puck away. And it says outside shot for any player. Um, we're going to give that to Jack Hughes, and he's going to try to penetrate. He does get inside, and he gets a four roll, which is a goalie rating, and we're going to be looking at all mark for this. That is a 10, and that's a face-off. So um, he covers it up. There's going to be a face-off. We'll roll the dice. Plus two, and that's a nine roll. Nine and a plus two is superior left wing. So that means that Marshan has possession of the puck off the faceoff. And that says possible breakaway. We'll check the breakaway on the breakaway section. And that says right wing, uh, if breakaway penetration is three or more, which it probably is, and it is. So that's Pasternak with a breakaway shot. And that is going to be a 10, and a 10 on the breakaway is a goal. It's just a goal, Pastor <laughs> with a breakaway goal. So Boston takes the 3-2 lead early here in the third period. And so we're going to have another face-off. And, um, okay, and uh, we'll roll the dice. And that is a one. One with a plus two on the face-off is superior left defenseman. So that would go to Orloff. Orloff with the puck. And uh, that says outside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Bergeron, and he's going to try to um, penetrate inside. He does get inside. And now he has an inside shot, and it's a save and a rebound. So we're going to check the rebound section. That says defensive left defenseman. So Brendan Smith, luckily for um, New Jersey, comes away with it. No, we're not picking that. Um, and Holmes says, lose puck outside shot for opponent. Now, he's a left defenseman, so that means it's for McAvoy. McAvoy is a penetration three. He's just going to pass the puck. Passing says against even, lose the puck to the opponent. So he's going to lose the puck to Brendan Smith. And um, so now Brendan Smith has it. And that says lose puck outside shot for left wing. That's Marchand, but Marchand is going to try to penetrate inside. He does get inside, and he gets a two, and that's a goal one to nine. Oh, wait a minute. That is a goal plus. So if I'm reading that correctly, I think that means that it's a uh, it would only be a goal one to nine if um, Boston had a power play, which they don't. So I'm going to assume it's really going to be a face off. So we will pick the card or we'll roll the dice for the face off for the plus two. That's a twelve. Um, superior any player. So they're going to give it to Patrice Bergeron. He has the puck, and he loses the puck, an outside shot for the left wing. That's Timo Meyer. Timo Meyer is a four. He's going to try to penetrate. He does get inside. He gets a five. Five is a save, and the right wing comes away with it, and that's Pasternak. So Pasternak has it, and the forward lines are going to change, so it isn't going to be Pasternak that has it. It is actually going to be... Uh, Garnett Hathaway, because now Boston's front line is Taylor Hall, Charlie Coyle, and Garnett Hathaway. The front line for New Jersey now is Andre Palat, Nico Hersher, and Jesper Bratt. And so uh, we pick the card, and it says outside shot for left wing. So that's going to be Taylor Hall with an outside shot. He'll try to penetrate. He does not penetrate. So 
the right wing brat comes away with the puck. That says outside shot for left wing. So Palat has an outside shot. He's just going to take it. And that is an eight. Eight is a rebound. There's a save and a rebound. We will pick the rebound, the card to see what the rebound says. It says defensive left wing. So Taylor Hall has the puck. And it says lose puck outside shot for opponent. So that's Jesper Bratt, but he's a four penetration. He'll try to penetrate. He does get inside. He has an inside shot. It's a six. That's a goalie rating. We're going to look at Allmark. Allmark on a six is a goal! And New Jersey ties this game. It's crazy. This is crazy talk. So you've got a tie game now. And um, we uh, are going to have a face-off. And... For the face-off, Coyle is a plus two, and Hershier is a plus two, so we're we're looking at even now for the face-off. We'll roll the, the dice. It's a ten, even, and that is home right wing. So the puck will start with Jesper Bratt, and uh, home says possible breakaway. We'll check the breakaway section. And breakaway says center if breakaway penetration is three or more. And I got to imagine it probably is. It is. So that's Hershier. Hershier has a breakaway shot. And that's a four. And four is a goalie rating. We're going to look at Allmark again. And that is a nine. Nine is a save any defensive player. So um, the puck will go to... Charlie Coyle and the defensive lines will change. So that means for Boston, you're going to have Greselec and Carlo out there. And for New Jersey, you're going to have Jonas Siegenthaler and Damon Severson. And uh, the visitor says passing K. Passing K is an inside shot for the left wing. That's Taylor Hall. He's got an inside shot. He rolls a nine. That's going to be a save, and the defensive center comes away with it in this tie game at three. Hershier coming away with the puck. And it says opponent defense 13. Coyle's 13. He takes the puck away. So Coyle has the puck, and uh, that says defense 12. Opponent defense 12. And so Hershier takes the puck back away from him. So now Hershier has the puck. And that says passing J, and that's inside shot for right wing. That's Jesper Bratt. I think he had the last goal for New Jersey. And this is a six. It's a goalie rating again. Is he going to have another one? Roll it for all, Mark. That's a 10. That's going to be a face-off. And we're looking at an even for the face-off. So we'll roll the dice. Six on even is home right defenseman. So that gives it to Severson. Severson with the puck. And uh, that says, lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. And the right defenseman is Carlo. He has a one penetration, so he's going to just pass it. And we look at the puck, or the uh, card, and it says, passing, lose puck, defensive left defenseman has control. So that's Siegenthaler. Siegenthaler with the puck, and it says, passing J on his card. It's an inside shot for the center. That's Hershier. Hershier taking an inside shot. Four is a save, and left defenseman comes away with it. And that's going to be Matt Grizzilek. Grizzilek. <laughs> and now he's got it, and it says passing L on his card. Passing L is lose puck to the center. So Hershier has the puck, and the forward lines are going to change. So it will, in fact, not be Hershier who has the puck. It will indeed be, uh, who is that going to be? That is going to actually be uh, Yegor, Yegor Shar, Sharangovich is going to have the puck for New Jersey. And for Boston, their third. So there's the, the third line for Boston is out there. And 
That is Tyler Bertuzzi, Pavel Zaka, and A.J. Greer. And the third line for New Jersey is Miles Wood, Yegor Sharangovich, who has the puck, and Thomas Tatar. And uh, for home, it says opponent defense 14. Zaka's 14 defense is outside shot. Sarangovich is a three. He's just going to take the outside shot. That is a seven. That's going to be a, a save, and the right wing comes away with it. That's Greer. So Greer has the puck for Boston. And that says lose puck outside shot for center. Sarangovich is going to try to pass the puck. This time, and it says passing L, lose puck to the left wing. So Bertuzzi now has the puck for Boston. And um, on his uh, thing, side of his card, it says inside shot for any player. That would be, they're going to give it to, um, they're going to give it to Pavel Zaka. Pavel Zaka with an inside shot on a four. That's a goalie rating. We're looking at Vanacek. Vanacek on a five is a goal, and Pavel Zaka has comes away with a goal. So Boston takes a four to three lead here. And we're gonna do the face-off. Now Pavel Zaka is a plus one on the face-off. Sarangovich is a zero. So that's a plus one advantage and a 20. <clears throat> that's inferior right wing. So that means Tatar has the puck. And um, we will pick it. And it says passing K on Tatar's cards. Inside shot for the center. That's Sarangovich. He gets a three, which is a save. And the right wing comes away. That's A.J. Greer. And the defensive lines will change. And so for um, Boston, that means that Hampus Lindholm and Connor Clifton are out there. And for New Jersey, the defensive pairing is Ryan Graves and John Marino. And uh, so Greer with the puck, and that says lose puck possible breakaway. So we're going to check the breakaway section, and that says left defenseman. So Ryan Graves, who just got on the ice, has a breakaway shot, and that's a seven. Seven is going to be a lose to the right defenseman. So the right defenseman has it. That's Connor Clifton. And so now he's got the puck. And um, that says opponent beef or opponent penalty rating. The left defenseman's penalty rating is a D, so he takes the puck away. Ryan Graves will take the puck away from Clifton. There's, it's surprising. There's only been one penalty in this game so far. Um, and Holmes says opponent defense 12. Opponent defense 12 is takes the, um, wait a minute. No, it's take the, it is take the puck away. So Clifton takes the puck away from him, back away from him. And then that says opponent defense 12. And that is takes the puck away. So Graves takes the puck back away. We got like a kind of a tennis game <coughs> here. And Holmes says outside shot for the right wing. That's Tatar. He is going to try to penetrate. He's a three. Three trying to get inside is one to 11. He doesn't. So he's going to lose the puck to Tyler Bertuzzi. And at this point, the, um, the, the, uh, the, uh, mm, devils are going to put an extra man on the ice and, and pull the goalie. Well, no, I guess they wouldn't do that yet because Bertuzzi has possession of the puck. So they have to get possession of the puck back. Um, visitor says outside shot for center. That's Pavel Zaka. Pavel Zaka will um, try to penetrate. He is a three. 
he doesn't get inside. So now Saren Govich has it. They will put an extra man on the ice. I don't know how that's really going to help them right here, but they uh, have an extra man. And um, <clears throat> for home, it says outside shot for the left wing. That's Miles Wood. Miles Wood has an outside shot. He is a penetration four, though. He'll try to penetrate. This was key. He got inside, so he has an inside shot on the last card, and it's a save in the right wing. So that's how your game ends. Boston wins this one 4-3 to three in a nail-biter. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.